Okay. Booms I've got two up there half made are these cages to protect my onions from the onion flea or onion flight. I thought I'd show you how they'd be made. <coughs> you could use normal clashes but I've decided to make these these cages. They're covered with normal horticultural fleece which isn't that strong so there is a fair bit of damage that can uh, befall them. They are light, hence the, uh, the stakes at the side to keep them fixed in place. A good gale force wind will still collect them and move them. Right, this is one half done, no fleece as you can see. The wood is about an inch by half inch. I found this out of a skip, surprising what people throw out. And these two both have been made with wood out of a skip. Those I've brought the wood because you can't always be that lucky. And uh, as anybody can tell you, wood gets used up quite quick. If I don't use it, somebody might ask me for a bit and it, it, it gets used right the joint is basically simple you go an upright i would have preferred a thicker piece of wood here to give it a bit more weight to hold it down in any any winds and as you can see two screws one going into the upright one going into this cross section with space here and here for in a couple of years time when it starts rocking I can add two more screws to give it more strength I use screws because if a bit rots breaks I can easily take it apart if the frame breaks altogether, there's still wood there that I could use. Taking screws out is a lot easier than messing about with uh, nails. Just screw them out, get your, your cordless screwdriver, screw them out, reuse the wood, replace the wood, whatever. On this side, two screws with space here and here for another two. Once again, a couple of years time, when he starts to lose his strength, I can re-strengthen it. Down here I used a bit of architrave, probably from round a door. Once again, out of a skip, costs nothing. It's painted, that paint will flake off. A bit of cleaning up, saves, it saves you a lot of money. It saves you a lot of hassle. I put a triangle piece on the corner to keep it square. It also keeps a bit of the wood, this piece here at least, a bit drier at the end grain. It's best to preserve the wood, but well, being as I haven't got anywhere but the allotment to do that sort of thing, and I don't want preservative skin onto the soil, I'll leave it. I'll find another piece of wood to replace it. It's only an afternoon's job to make all four, so I ain't too worried. There should be cross pieces. Instead, I'm using this wire to give it something for the material to 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 lie on I suppose it stops it the wind ripping it but when I get some more wood I'll cut it to size put it to one side and then next winter or when I set the the onions out I can replace these wires with wood makes it a lot more st stronger 
also makes the panels of the fleece a lot more smaller and saves a lot of time. One length of fleece from Poundland, not the best fleece, but a lot cheaper than buying it in garden centres, DIY shops and places like that. Will do me at least from there round to there. So two pieces of fleece should do the whole of this this uh, cage, this frame. Uh, you get a staple gun and staple them in. You do get through a fair number of staples. The box size I guess will be three quarters empty by the time you do one of these frames. So it does you do spend money on staples, I've got to admit. A bit of a bit of an expense. But it, the wood's free. Three quid for staples is not going to worry. If you bought them online in a shop, ready made, you're going to be paying twice that just for delivery. So there you go. These, as you can see here, have had wind damage. Small holes, there's a tear somewhere about there can be fixed just by layering on a thin piece off cut putting it over so it's nice and tight that are you going to move no way whatsoever I am lucky enough to have this plastic uh, angled lens whatever they were I do not know to protect the edges. That's so when I need to water and weed all I have to do is lift it up, lean it onto that one, lift that one there up, lean it onto that one, do my business and that's it. Oh yeah and that's how I uh, how I uh, Protect, protect my onions because last year I had to re sow the whole bed, which, as you can imagine, is a bit of a, a kick in the teeth. But no, nothing will get through that. The water, for, when it rains, the water does get through this fleece, but an awful lot of sun gets through this fleece. My onions are the same size as anybody else's. The amount of growth is exactly the same. So there you go. See ya.